Last weekend, it was Taste of the Danforth celebrating the food. This weekend, the appetite is for speed, power, and beauty with wheels on the Danforth celebrating the cars. Let's go. More than 400 machines of all different shapes, sizes, colors, and vintages were on display on Saturday. A perfect day for car lovers who let the good times roll. Well, we've had record numbers this year. We had so many pre-registered that we filled the street just with pre-registered cars, and now we're trying to fit the ones that are rolling in separate anywhere we can. You got your classic cars, you got modern modified cars, you got some race cars over there. Uh, it's Yeah, it's just a really great showing. With this being a judged car show, owners look to shake it up to impress the judges. This one, a dangerous type. People love it, and there's people that hate it too. Like, you know, they would walk right when you look at it, right? It takes a lot. It takes a lot to get a straight 10 from me. So if you're coming here with your car, best believe I am a tough cookie when it comes to judging. You might think the hours spent making these hot rods works of art is a little touch and go, but when you see the results, it's magic. Since 20 years old, I rebuilt and did the, the paint myself. So all this that you see on the car, I wasn't the type of guy just to pay anybody. I did it myself and took the time and quality since then, and I'm 33 years old now. You put in as much time like everything else, you put in as much time as you want to. I put in a lot of time because I enjoy doing it, so it's not really work. If you could pick one car for your dad to buy for you today, which one would it be and why? Oh, the Venom one. What do you like about the Venom car? Yes, the engine and, and all the details and stuff like that. So you would drive that down the street, drive it to school? Yes. Only one question remains, who's going to drive you home? Tonight, on the Danforth, Rob Leth, City News.